I cannot tell you how excited I was that I got to present the Wolfgang Puck ice cream maker. We had this on one day, and it was one of the most popular items we've ever sold in the history of HSN and culinary ever, ever, ever. Finally got it back. It's already <clears throat> selling quickly that I have two colors. I have red and I have mint, and that is it. You also highly recommend to pick up the cookbook from Marion Getz, Homemade Ice Cream and Frozen Desserts. I don't care if you're like, I want the most delicious mango sorbet, raspberry sorbet, uh, lemon ice, or you want the richest, like double chocolate brownie ice cream. My favorite ice cream is peanut butter ice cream. You can make any kind of ice cream you can think of, and ice cream is really shockingly simple to make, but usually it involves a giant machine and rock salt, or you have to take something and keep it in the freezer. Not, not here. Let me show you the ice cream. This is the cookbook. The item number is 714601. So I do, I did want to show you, um, this is tropical mango sorbet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. So I wanted to show, I definitely, there's Marion and Wolfgang. I wanted to show you, um, this is available. And then we also have the scoops available, which I know is something that I, my mom wanted to get for her. It's three different size scoops. So uh, you get a little squeeze, $23.27. These are also available. Of course, I'd be using the big one. But chef, I cannot wait to hear about how easy it is to make ice cream. I've seen the presentation before. I'm so excited yeah. we have some left for my show. It is so simple and so easy. So you make a custard ice cream or a milk ice cream or an Italian ice cream or yogurt ice cream. Whatever you want, you can do. It is so simple. All you do is put the custard in here and turn on the machine, and then you decide. You want soft ice cream or you want it harder. So it's so simple, so easy. And look at that. I have my beautiful spoons here. Mm, I love ice cream. You know, a lot of people think ice cream is for the summer. I have ice cream all year long because my house inside is always the same temperature, basically. Give or take a few degrees, so it's so simple. So now, mm, if you want a delicious ice cream, a seasonal ice cream, now we have pumpkin ice cream. Oh, pumpkin, pumpkin ice cream? pumpkin spice here. Wow. Look at that. And you get the little spoons here also with it, with different sizes. We have all the same, all the same. Yeah, the okay. scoops, the three scoops that uh, we had available. We have, a, we you still have some available. Yep. Look mm, at that. Look at that. I mean, you serve that just like that, and you're gonna say, "Wow, how is that possible?" Now, anybody can decorate, maybe with a few pumpkin chips on top. All right. And if you are Austrian like me, or not Austrian, it's okay too. A little whipped cream is always a good thing. Oh, wow, that, looks, that looks good. And then put a, a few little things on it, if, just in case the kids come over, and here you have it. Homemade ice cream, as good as it could be. Yeah, and ice cream really is only a couple of ingredients, right, Chef? Exactly. So <laughs> now you get ice cream where you don't have any preservative, no additive. You add sugar or honey or whatever you like for the sweetening. Okay, mm, look at that. This is pecan vanilla ice cream here. Mmm, that sounds really Sometimes good. Sometimes I get some cones. Yeah. Here we have the little one. Look at that. Put them always in warm water, the spoon, so that way it comes off easy. And look, look at that. This is just like you would eat in an ice cream store in Venice or in Sicily or wherever it is. And you know what? Mm. And so each each time you make ice cream, the capacity is one quart, uh, which is two pints of ice cream each yeah, time. Yeah, two pints of ice cream. About how long does it take when you put the ingredients in? It really depends. It takes about an hour. Some of them a little faster, some of them a little bit uh, uh, slower, but all you have to do is put the ingredients in the machine and you can walk away. And then when it's done hot or soft, it will stop and you are done. So then you can make ice cream 
For example, if you have nothing to do, it's raining outside, you say, I'm going to make a few ice creams and put them in the freezer, put them in containers and in the freezer. And it's really just perfect. By the way, so I'm, I'm looking in this cookbook, and there's everything from sugar-free lemon sorbet, dairy-free yeah. chocolate ice cream. So there's really an ice cream for everybody. Chocolate mm -hmm. avocado ice cream. I'm, I'm just, it's really, you know, whatever your know, dietary you get... needs are, you can make uh -huh. an ice cream for it. it. It's so amazing. Here we have my favorite. Mm. What is your favorite? What is your favorite? I'm dying to know. Coffee. Oh, Look yeah. at this coffee ice cream here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite oh, my desserts God. is a vanilla mm. ice cream, and you pour an espresso I could over dance it. dance with my coffee ice cream. It <laughs> is so good. Oh. And, you know, my wife, Galila, loves coffee, too, because she's from Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, obviously, coffee started there, so everything with coffee, she just loves. If I want to get lucky, I make a <laughs> coffee ice cream, and it will happen. Well, that's why we no. have two kids already. <laughs> that's why it's your favorite. <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes sense. Well, mm, I just want to show you the two you colors. Know, love are, goes through the stomach. Red is huh? the most popular. I have two colors, the mint green and then the red. We have a sale price of $169.99. Because we're doing a big event, it's free shipping handling because we've got the big cooks event today it's five flex pay so just 34 dollars mm -hmm. to get home the wolfgang puck ice cream maker you open it and do you, do you pour the ingredients directly inside right what is it? it's cream sugar some vanilla the flavoring push the button and then that's it right yeah you know what let me show you another thing we made chocolate chip cookies early today with our cheat pen so now you can do just like any fine restaurant or ice cream parlor. You can make ice cream sandwiches. Look at that. Oh. You put the cookie on and then the ice cream one on top. And then, hallelujah, you go to heaven. You know what? <laughs> you eat that. There is no better dessert. You know, I'm not saying that uh, because I take it lightly or anything, but you know, with our desserts, even at the restaurant, we always serve a scoop of ice cream. If it's a cheesecake, if it's our raspberry tart, if it's our Kaiserschmarrn, which are very popular, we always serve ice cream with it too. So it's great to have the texture, the smoothness, but also the different temperature. So now you can be mm -hmm. as creative as you want. And if you're on a really, on a healthier side, you said, okay, Wolfgang, I don't, want too much uh, uh, eggs or cream or milk, you can make your sorbet. Look at that. Here we have sorbet. Right, you can, can even you make it sugar-free if you want to use like stevia yeah. as, a, as a sweetener. I mean, you could really be for anyone. Now, I know in your restaurant, you've got a professional ice, make, uh, ice cream maker, and I know they're very, very expensive. What would you say the difference is from your professional restaurant ice cream maker and this one? You know, let me tell you, the texture is exactly the same. Wow. You know, if we wouldn't have good ice cream in our restaurant, we would be in trouble. But the texture is exactly the same, except ours have a quantity of two gallons because we <laughs> serve 300 customers a night. Now, you go to our restaurant in, um, in uh, Disney Springs down in Orlando, not too far from you over there, and you go... We have a whole ice cream store there with 20 different flavors or even more. Why? When it's warm, people like it. When it's cold for dessert, people like it. And they have the choice. If you want sugar-free, if you're lactose intolerant, you can make your ice cream with almond milk, with soy milk. You can make a fruit sorbet if you have fruits. If peaches are in season, I know now great grapefruit are really amazing. I just had some pink grapefruit sorbet this morning. It was so amazing. So you get whatever you like and you can make it to your specification. And remember, there is no additive because you add what you want. And if you get Marianne's book or even the little book with it, you get some basic recipes and you're gonna be a pastry chef and everybody gonna come by and eat your ice cream. Yeah, and I, I'm watching Marion, and she's doing like a custom ice cream where she's adding, you know, toppings and then mixing them in at the last minute so they're perfectly even. Like if you want to do, uh, you know, like a, a, you know, vanilla chip ice cream or, 
you know, any kind of, you know, chocolate chip cookie dough or your favorite candies inside an ice cream. There's a confetti ice cream recipe I know in her book. Uh, this is just so easy. And honestly, if you can pour two or three ingredients in here and push a button, you can make homemade, homemade ice cream with this. Other ice cream makers are very different. They involve rock salt, totally. churning, yeah. uh, or you've got to keep something in the freezer for two days and then take out a special piece of equipment. This is honestly the easiest ice cream maker you'll yeah. ever use on the market. Yeah, this is the same ice cream maker, the same idea as I have in the restaurant. You don't have to put the container in the freezer. It comes with the container, it comes with the bottle, it comes with everything. Now, you know, the season starts, the holiday season starts. So instead of having eggnog uh, to eat, I make eggnog ice cream. And then if the grown-ups, we put, for the kids, I just put a little bit of some chocolate brownie on top. And for me, and for other grown-ups, we put a little amaretto on top, which is a, mm. Ooh, that sounds good. Or it could be a little good. bourbon, whatever it is. And you know what? You have that. It is as good as it gets. Mm. By the way, as you're shopping for the ice cream maker, I want to give you an update on the flatware set we just had. We had... Uh, there's only 60 orders of the gray flatware set from Chef Wolfgang Puck, so six zero. We sold out of the opaque, 60 left in the gray, and then we have a few left in the black. The cranberry is completely sold out also. So here's the item number, 676164. I just wanted to give you an update if you're shopping. Now, when it comes to the ice cream maker, I'm gonna come over here, I've got two color choices. I've got the red and I've got the mint. So I think the red is the most popular. Um, we also have a couple things you can add to your order from Wolfgang Pocket. And you know what, Andre, does this come in different colors, red or white? I think they they have the scoops. You get three different sizes. Yeah, okay, so red or white, Here here's the accent. Red or white, there's the little scoop, the medium scoop, and then the Helen scoop. We should call that large one. But here's the white, if you want to see. And you are getting all three. You're not choosing. You get all three scoops. So here's what the red looks like. Here's what the white looks like. $23.27, five flex pay of $4.60 seven cents. Here are your two color choices. And the other thing that I'm recommending that you, you add to your order one. is if you get the, uh, Marion gets has homemade and ice cream and frozen lemon. desserts, chocolate ice cream, homemade vanilla, lemon gelato, pineapple upside down ice cream, movie theater ice cream, peanut butter and jelly ice cream, pumpkin pie ice cream, uh, dolce de leche, uh, blueberry, tropical mango sorbet. Mango sorbet chef is one of my all time favorite, favorite favorite uh, desserts. It's a great like palate cleanser. Yeah, it's so easy to do. You can add whatever you want to the mango sorbet, even a little champagne, a little white wine or so, or a little bit of tequila, or if you like <laughs> rum, and you have a delicious sorbet. You can buy it already frozen purees if you want to, all just make sure they are all organic and, and no preservative. And if you have some leftover berries, puree them and put them in your ice cream maker. It is simple, easy, and fast. So you can make ice cream. You don't have to do anything. Just put in your custard or your fruit juice, and that's it. So easy, so simple. It's just like my friend maker. You dump in everything, and that's it. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, Chef. I know that you, you of what course, you are, have your own restaurant. You would never do this, but at the grocery store, have you ever read the ingredients for grocery store ice cream? There's things like xanthan gum and guar gum, like all these, like, things to make it have a texture and additives, preservatives, and this and that, yeah. things, things to make it not melt. I mean, huh? <laughs> you know, it, it, it really, it could be cream, vanilla, sugar. <laughs> you know, that's, it's just, it, you're going to be amazed how great ice cream. I remember when I was a little girl, a neighbor okay. had one of those big rock salt ice cream makers, and I had a cup of homemade vanilla ice cream. It was the first time in my life I'd ever had that, and I remember what okay, it tastes like to this, this day. Time. So Put amazing, Chef. I know we've only got three more minutes left. Um, I'll turn yeah. it over to you if there's any, anything you want to say to kind of wrap it up. Okay, I, let me show people how easy it is. Okay, I love it. Here you have the container. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me that. Here we have some custard. This is vanilla ice cream. So I'm just gonna pour that in here with some crushed pecans in here. All right, and then we need the bottle. Just put that in here. Voila. 
You can see the side here, okay? And here we go. So this is the front. And then we go up. And that's it. You're good to go. I mean, you literally pour in a couple of ingredients, push the button that says go. As a matter of fact, you can see here, uh, you know, on, on and done. <laughs> you know, it's so simple. You know, and, you, and ice cream really has very simple ingredients. You know, strawberries, cream, sugar, chocolate, cream, sugar, vanilla beans, cream, sugar. You ever have real vanilla bean ice cream where there's these little tiny black dots in it? That's real fresh vanilla bean. You can make that at home. It is so incredibly easy. We're doing a feature price of $169.99 today. We've got five interest-free payments. So by the way, let me give you the coupon code. Because if you buy this with your HSN card, take out your coupon code, you can save $20 off. Here's the coupon code. It's 186668. Um, if you're if you're calling in, you I'm sure the wonderful representative that answers the phone will give you the coupon code. If you forget, it's also on hsn.com. And you can use that coupon over and over and over again today. You buy the ice cream maker, use the coupon code. You, you know, watch Tamara's show who's coming up next with Chef Curtis Stone, get the today's special use the coupon code again. So you can use that coupon code over and over and over and over again. I love it. But, but you have to use your HSN card. You say, well, I don't have an HSN card. You can get one. And then you get $20 off a single item purchase at time of approval. It's sort of like a welcome. So how about that? Go to hsn.com, put an HSN card in the search or call the 800 number 695-1418. Chef, we had lost your sound for a second. I'm told that okay, you're back for the last minute of the